dreamers welcome back happy friday and since it's friday that means it is time to dig down back to the bottom of my makeup collection and do a little bit more decluttering i haven't been doing very good at an average of one or two products a week so you may start seeing more of each type of product as i really get serious about going through my collection and finding there's two things that i want to find one Actually, there's three things that I want to find. One is products that I have that I haven't been reaching for that I really absolutely love and make sure that they're getting the use that they deserve and some love. The second thing is I want to find products that I want to declutter, that I don't like, that don't work for me, that someone else will really truly love and I can pass those on and give them to someone who's really going to use them. The third thing that I want to find is I would like to sometime during the summer or towards the end of the summer start a pretty good project pan. So I want to see what is in my collection that I do like that's maybe not a favorite that I would like to finish up and move out of my collection. So with that said, um, I pulled out quite a few things this week and I'm just going to start going through them. For primer this week, I was using the new CoverGirl True Blend. This is the face primer for oily skin. This is kind of like Omer's glue. Um, it's very liquidy. You can see it's kind of runny right there. But then when you rub it in, it kind of has this, this I don't want to say tacky feeling because it's not tacky. It feels tacky as you're rubbing it in, but then it just, kind of like Elmer's glue, just glues your makeup in place all day long. And I really, really like it, even though I don't like the consistency when I first pull it out. And I don't really like the way that it feels when I'm rubbing it into my face, but I love the way that it makes my makeup look. It doesn't really do anything for blurring or pores or anything like that. It just really sort of sticks your makeup to your face. I don't know which one of my lights is causing a shadow. I need to figure that out. Um, okay, for foundation this week, I pulled out my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion, which if I, when I pulled this out, I was like, I think I really liked that. And I did, I have this in the color N4. Now for some reason, mine didn't, uh, hold on just a second. Okay, kids were outside swimming and they needed towels. So anyway, the True Match Lumi Cushion, when I got mine, it was sealed. I always check that whenever I buy products from the drugstore, but I didn't get the little cushion. And I emailed them and they never responded. I tweeted them and they never responded. So um, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about that. Um, but this is just like the, you know, cushion foundation and I use my, where is it? My Tarte foundation brush that I got from, I got this in a QVC thing a while back, but I really like this foundation when I want a little bit more coverage. Um, it's the foundation that I use when I'm trying to get a fuller application and I really like it with this cushion foundation because I think that it blends it in really nicely and it looks very, very smooth. So I will probably end up putting this in the project pan just because I really, really do like it, but I'm afraid that that sponge might dry out and I don't think that there's really that much product left in here. You only get um, 0.51 ounces, which is half of a regular foundation. And this is also $15. So I don't think that I would repurchase this simply for the fact that the Fiona Styles foundation that I really love is $30 and you get an ounce. So I just because of the cost, I think I'm going to move that out of my collection and go for something else. Uh, let's see, for concealer, um, I've been using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and this is in medium. I really do like this concealer, but I like the brightener better, so I'm going to put this in a project pan and try to go ahead and finish this off, and then I will repurchase it, but I will repurchase the brightener one and not the medium. To 
set my concealer and set my foundation. I've been using this product, which I got in a subscription box a while back, and this is the Your Minerals Sweden. It's just a transparent powder is all it is. It says transparent veil, and it's just a mineral powder, and I really like the way that it plays with the True Match Lumi because um, it doesn't, it sets it very, very well. It really helps to keep, even though this is kind of a, a dewier foundation and it's summer and it's hot, this transparent powder really helps to keep this foundation looking nice all day long, but it doesn't take away the dewiness of it. It does take away a little bit, but it doesn't completely mattify it. So I really liked the way that those played together this week. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a couple of things with face products. First, um, I'm going to tell you, well, I'll just start with this one because this was kind of a, a no-go for me this week. Um, unfortunately, I, this is the first product of the week that I will be decluttering, and this is the Lorac Palette The Resort. And this is a full, this is an eye and cheek palette. And I had purchased this off Hot Look, and it looks really absolutely beautiful. And here's the thing, the bronzer in here is way, way, way too dark for me. So that's what that bronzer looks like. And I ended up switching to my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, and this is the matte, the medium deep matte bronzer. And I'll just do a, sort of a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see the, the difference here in the colors. So this is a perfect bronzer for me. It is a, an absolutely fantastic color, and that's the medium deep. This is way too dark for me to use as a bronzer. The blushes in here, they look absolutely beautiful. But here's, here's the issue that I have. This one, which is, and I'm kind of making a mess here, the lighter one and then this uh, darker one. This is the lighter one and it's too light for me. This is the darker one and it is too dark for me. I like them both as eyeshadows. Um, kind of similar to the um, Lorac palette that I reviewed from Amazon that was an Amazon exclusive, the Pink Champagne, and I will try to remember to link that one down below. The blush worked better as an eyeshadow for me. So I like these three as eyeshadows. Really, actually, this bronzer, I, I just don't care for it that much at all. Um, the highlight is gorgeous. I absolutely love the highlight in there. I think that it is stunning and beautiful. The eyeshadows, these three lighter ones, I really like. They are beautiful. They work well. Um, this lightest one, it doesn't really show up on my skin very well, but it works fantastically as just a base. I always like to lay a base shadow down on top of my primer before I put anything else down, and that is a really fantastic color for me. These three darker colors, I like. There's this sort of forest green, but you can see it's very patchy. This dark brown and a black. Now, the problem that I have with these three darker ones is they, they just don't, you can see that that green blends pretty good and the brown blends pretty good, but that black doesn't blend. It just really doesn't blend at all. And now I've made like a total mess. You see, even when I'm like wiping this with a washcloth, it's, it's still just not blending. So I'm going to declutter this palette, and here's the main reason. I really love the highlighter, but it's not unique. Um, when I went through my collection, you know, I have a bunch of highlighters that I really like. I really like these three shadows, but um, 
these two that I really, really like, I have shadows that are very, very similar in the um, Urban Decay Naked 3. So the only, the only thing that's kind of unique in here is this green color. And I did find a better <laughs> sort of this uh, vintagey green color in a palette that I have from Sephora, the, the vintage filter um, has a green that's really similar to this. So, and of course the black, I'm not really upset about that not blending well because I have so many black shadows in my collection, it's not even funny. But overall as a palette, even though I like pieces of this, I don't wanna take it apart because I know a couple of people that would just absolutely love this and get a lot of use out of it. So I'm going to keep it all together and not depot anything and that is going to be leaving my collection. Um, since that those blushes didn't really work for me, I pulled out this Makeup Revolution blush. <coughs> Excuse me, this is the matte blush in Nude. I absolutely love this blush and I want to get some more of these. I think they're like $6. Um, but this is just such a pretty, pretty blush. It's just a nice peachy pink. It went great with the looks that I was doing this week and it blends nicely. It stays all day and just completely lovely. Okay, um, let's see, where am I? Let's talk. Let's do the rest of eyes because, yeah, the, we'll do eyes and then we'll come back. Okay, so the other eyeshadow palette that I pulled out this week was my Too Faced A La Mode eyes. And I believe this was a limited edition from a couple summers ago. But I just, and I'm throwing stuff on the floor already. Eyeliner just rolling off the table. Um, so I really haven't grabbed for this palette this much and I'm not really sure why I haven't. Um, these are really summer colors, not colors that I would wear in the winter. That is the look that I have on my eyes right now. I have classic, um, from the classic row, I have Riviera just as my base all over and then as my brow highlight, I have um, De La Mer in the outer corner and underneath my lower lash line. I have Monaco all over my lid. And then I have La Crosette as my inner corner highlight and then actually as my cheek highlight as well. And I mean, come on, pal, that is an incredible cheek highlight. So um, the only color that I really didn't play a lot with this week was Saint Tropez, which is this lighter shadow. And let me show you some swatches of some of these other colors. But these colors are just really pretty and they're really fantastic, warm, summery colors. I saw that black all over my hand. But just really fantastic, pretty, warm, summery colors. And so I'm not really sure why I haven't gravitated towards this palette except for all of the colors except for the blue and this pink are really quite warm and as you guys know if you've been watching my channel I have been on a mission to get comfortable wearing warm colors and I think I'm there because as I'm looking at this palette this week I'm going wow these are really pretty and I can think of a thousand different things to do with it it doesn't really have a great transition color um, everything in here is shimmery but that's fine. It's summer. I will shine like a diamond, right? So I think I will be taking this with us when we go on vacation to the beach because it's just the perfect beach palette, right? So that one will be staying in my collection. For the rest of eyes, I pulled out this um, Kativa waterproof automatic eye pencil. I've still been trying to go through my collection, see if I have anything that will stay in my waterline. This does a little bit. Um, it will stay for at least a couple hours. Um, it's just a really, really nice pencil roll up, goes on great. Um, I've noted, I mean, it'll stay for probably about half the day. If it wasn't so humid outside and my eyes weren't so itchy and watery from allergies, I think that it might actually stay most of the day. Then for my upper lash line, I've been using the Fiona Styles Ultra Pre 
precision stilo that is really hard to say. In Odin, which I love the name of that, I love this eyeliner. You get such a really pretty, easy to draw black line, and I like the sort of ergonomic design here of this. So that is one of my favorite liquid eyeliners. I need to get a little bit more serious about going through my eyeliners because I've really just kind of been pulling off the top and I need to I need to really get in that basket and just dig through and sort of lay it all out and really see what's there because I've been doing really good with the rest of my different products, but not that. For mascara, I've been using Tarte's Gifted, which uh, was, I got it something in a set on QVC a while back. I really do like this. I think it's a little bit difficult to remove but and it's not my favorite mascara it's not really a standout once I use it up it's not something that I will be repurchasing but I love the packaging absolutely love the packaging uh, for brows I started off trying this super cute I got this in a subscription box by peak and this is in the color Espresso. It's a natural stain brow powder. And it is just too light for me. I have tried this by itself. I've tried it with using one of my darker powders and then kind of using this to blend and add definition, but it is just too light for me, which is really sad because I love the packaging on this and I love the formula. I am going to look on Peak's website. I I think these are like $20 though, but this may not be a full size. Um, but I'm going to look on their website and see if they have a darker one because I really do like the formula. So I pulled out my staple Bodyography. Um, this is just the Essential Brow Trio. I don't use this lightest one. I use these two darker ones and that is what I have on my brows now. Um, Okay, we are down to it here. So I really was working with two different lip products this week. And the one that I have on my lips is this um, Mana Beauty Simplified. And it's in the color All of Me. This looks really scary to me in the package. I look at it and I'm like, wow, that's going to be really bright. And then every day that I put it on, and I do this every single day that I wear this and then I put it on, it's what I have on my lips right now and I think, wow, no, that's actually really a pretty color. It's this really just pretty pinky purple. It's right up my alley so I need to like, you know, write in Sharpie on the side or something like this, not as scary as you think because I really do enjoy this gloss. I think that it has great wear time. It's a little bit tacky but only kind of when I smish my lips together. Um, if the wind blows, my hair will get stuck in it, but it's really not that big of an issue to me. The other lip gloss I've been trying is this Kaylin Art Touch Tinted Lip Gloss in Love Affair. And this is, you know, I tried to pick something on the pinkier side and something on the peachier side. I really like the applicators of both of these. So that's just a really sort of peachy color. I like them both. They will both be staying in my collection and I'm trying to get in the habit of wearing glosses more. I tend to constantly be eating or drinking. When I get to work, I either have like my can of Dr. Pepper 10 or I've got popcorn or I've got vegetables or I've got chips and salsa or I've got my um, cup water with the straw um, or I've got a water bottle I've always got something and so lipstick just doesn't last unless it's like glued to my face it if it's something like this like a gloss it's gonna be off in like five minutes and then I forget to reapply it because I'm sitting at my desk or I'm running around I never remember to put it on unless I'm running around so I'm going to try to really be a whole lot better about taking care of the color of my lips. Um, okay, last thing is my nail polish. I did finally change my nail polish this week and the, the fake nail survived pretty good with dip into the nail polish remover. But I pulled out another little mini from that New Orleans collection and for the life of me, I can't remember the name of it. And 
it doesn't say on these little minis. So I will put the name of this right down here. This is from that little New Orleans mini collection. I absolutely love this color. I think it is perfect for summer. I've of course been wearing it all week because I'm trying to keep that um, fake nail out of the nail polish remover as much as possible. If you guys didn't watch my weekly makeup basket from last week, I broke this thumbnail and so this is actually a press on nail um, that is covering that until it grows out a little bit and it is a little bit less tender and not quite so short. So the rest of them are my own real claws that I have right now. They're actually a bit too long and I need to cut them down. I am a mess after that black eyeshadow. I mean, look at that. I'm going to have to go get some makeup remover to get that off. So anyway, that is everything for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope you have a wonderful holiday next weekend. I will probably see you um, not until after the holidays. I don't think that I will see you on Monday um, for sure. I don't know. I might. We'll see. We'll see how froggy I feel. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday weekend and I will see you next time. Bye.